Hello. Hello. And welcome to part two of the, I mean, part two of the uh, of the craft along the pyjama party with Linda Williams, Grace and myself. Can you hear us okay? Are you there? Oh, I'm sure they are. I don't know. It's awful when nobody answers back. Paul, can you hear us all right? Let's just make sure that everybody's here. Come on, Paul. Let me know. It says... Yeah, it's starting to climb. I'm waiting to see if anybody's there. Right, and then we'll get going again. Look, while Brownie we're coming points. in, yes. she'll be wearing silk pyjamas when she comes. <laughs> These are my mother's. She'll be wearing silk pyjamas when she comes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, weird. I mean, weird. A little bit sexy, I'd say. Plenty of room <laughs> to move. I do you ever like those? <laughs> Dave hasn't seen these. <laughs> Hi, Dave. <laughs> Come on in. Really Have you got your pajamas on? Have you got your pajamas on? Come on, if I can, if I can wear this on Facebook Live, <laughs> I want to know what you're wearing too, or maybe not. <laughs> what you're wearing? <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna carry on now. First of all, can we have a big round of applause for Linda Williams? <laughs> Yay! Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> right linda you're brilliant so we're going to have another we're, we're gonna gonna have another run at this now okay and um about another half hour we reckon didn't we linda yeah there's not a lot left now yeah cheers oh, cheers 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 right okay i switch my camera over now then okay, okay. And we'll get back in the corner. All right, you get back in the corner. Okay, right. Let's do a little bit more embossing on here now, and then we're going oh, to colour. Nice. And then once we colour, we're going to be ready to put it all together. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to. I'm. I'm on. I'm on my black mat now, just for the for you to be able to see you. So you're going to finish doing these. Um, these little dots. I mean, you don't have to finish them now. You can finish them. You know, tomorrow or something. If you find your your uh, you can't keep it. So on the back, okay. Make sure you're on the back, and we're going to do a little bit more embossing on the lily of the valley and the rose. So let's do the rose first because it's it's had a little bit of time now to to rest. Okay. So we're yes. going to do the turnovers again. What okay. what tool are you using, Linda? Number six got, or number? I've got a 4.5 millimeter ball tool now to get these turnovers on the white side. But don't press too hard, right? No, no, don't press too hard. I'll show you a little, few little finishing tricks now to avoid you having to over emboss your parchment. Just gently. There we are. And we're just okay. doing the, 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 the flappy bits. Just doing the flappy bits now first. And then we'll add a little bit to the other bits. If you think you've got enough embossing on the other bits, if I bring in the card for you to see if, if you've been quite generous with your embossing to begin with and you, you've got some nice white bits, I would say just, just leave it alone and don't do any more. Your Lily of the Valley will probably need a little bit more of, embo of the embossing. And I need a little bit more embossing on my on my leaves, okay? And, and I'm, I'm going to do a little bit more on my petals. I need a little bit in there. And a little bit more on these petals there. Do you find, Linda, can I ask? Yeah. Like, you probably don't have this, but you know when I went in with the groovy, when I went in with the, in the groove, I yeah. did go a little bit heavier than you so i had a little bit of sort of um a line if you like yeah uh, and and so now i'm finding that the line is starting to disappear as i'm doing the white work is is it a yeah. little bit premature no no well no you the, the purpose of doing your embossing is to is to lose your line anyway so if your line is a bit heavy yes if your line is a bit heavy and you're starting to lose it already maybe yes but, I mean, if you've gone in really heavy, you're not going to lose that line anyway. 
unless you've done it really, really lightly with a number two tool, it's very difficult to lose it. So um, remember this this little one that we did? Yes, on the front? on the front. I'm going to do a little bit on the front to that. Now I'm going to use the six millimeter gold tool for that because I want it to be nice and smooth. You use your piece of cello bag. I'm not using it. I use it. what, love? Your, your cello bag, you know, your piece of cello in paper. Yeah. Use that over the front of it. I'm not using it because I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Because it, the light catches it and you can't see what I'm doing. Okay. And we use the cellar bag so that it doesn't go uh, shiny. Doesn't shine. Yeah, that's right. So I'm going to put a little bit more on my leaves. So I'm, I'm using my four millimeter ball tool now. Still. Amazing. Is it coming on now? Yeah. Beautiful. There we are. I feel like an expert. <laughs> Especially sitting here in my pyjamas. I find that, that just taps it off really, don't you, Grace? <laughs> I think the trick to this game is to not get impatient, isn't it? Definitely. I, I think if you if you just, li just leave it alone, if you think, oh, I, I don't like the way it's going, just leave it alone and, and go back to it tomorrow. And sometimes things can look a little bit much, you know, different the next day. You have look at it with fresh eyes, and yeah. uh, it might not be quite as bad as you thought it was the day before. You know, I so find that in, with all artwork, don't you? Yeah, definitely, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you can do a bit of artwork, and you think, oh gosh, I really hate that. And then you you put you put it away, don't you? You hide it away, and then you bring it out a couple of weeks later, and you think, oh. I didn't think it was that good. <laughs> and if you don't get that feeling, just put it away and then put do it, it again. Yeah. Wait another fortnight. Yeah. Eventually your eyesight will deteriorate. And <laughs> what we say is just keep walking away from it until you like it. <laughs> <laughs> there we are. So those lily of the valley are coming up nice and white now. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. And if you feel that they're, they're, if you have a look at them on the front and you feel that they, they're, the shape is not quite right, or go, go back and round it off a little bit. And you know, at, at, at the bottom of the lily with the valley, you've got some little points, three little points of new. Um, yeah. you, can, you can put those in with a smaller tool and you can, you can refine it a little bit. But if you're going to use a smaller tool, make sure that you've got something firm underneath so if i turn that over now and if we see if we have a look at that that one lily of the valley there and i'm going to take um a 1.5 millimeter ball tool and or a number two groovy tool or a number two groovy tool and i'm going to put my piece of cellophane underneath and i'm just going to define that the edges of that lily of the valley what's that Defining the edges. Yeah. Defining those three little points on the edge. There we are. Now, if I bring that a bit closer, so you can see. Can Smashing. you see? Yeah. Those are just the finishing touches. When you when, and when you when you do embossing, the finishing touches are, are really really important. Yeah. If if I can show you. You see that 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 little bit there where it where it turns around where you've got the yes. fold over and the little bit there on the end. Yes. I'll show you how to improve that a little bit. So let's take a, a one millimeter ball tool. So that sort of hooks around, doesn't it? So I'm just. So that's hook. the number one groovy tool, is it? Yeah. So I'm just hooking it around there and I'm just putting a sharp point on that there. Oh yeah. Look at that pop. That made it Can you see cool. it? That it made, just makes it pop, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, well, let's do that one there now. Okay. 
Excellent. Cool. Doesn't that make a difference? Oh, absolutely. These finishing touches make a big difference. I hadn't quite filled that in. So, so with that one, I'm just going to bring it round there a little bit. Can you see it? Yeah? Yeah. And I'm going to bring that round. Not too far, just, just a little, little, little bit. Tiny, tiny bit. So you can see now there and there and that yeah. just just connects it to those little bits there and i mean you, you can do this on say the tips of your of your beds just give them a nice white tip and there cool it's enough to make a difference linda oh, oh big difference big difference Finishing touch is always important. See, on the edge of you, of the buds, on there. On the edge of your buds as well. Yeah, and and on the on the tips of your leaves. Just to when you say the edge of the buds, what what which bits do you actually mean, Lynn? So little sepals there on the edge of your. If I little bits at the top. Yeah, got you. Yeah. Show you on the plate those bits there yes yes, yes. yes. thank you okay. yeah. and um just this a is tip, why yeah. I, I didn't want you to put all these bits in you see so yeah yeah meeting when you're trying to do your your involvement yeah and you know you've got those little little bits there those tiny little leaves there you can add those in as well that you i can actually see them there so i'm going to Emboss them in a little bit. And I'm going to add What a difference that makes, eh? Big difference, yeah. 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 There we are. Just the finishing touches. Okay? Mm -hmm. I think I've done quite a bit of embossing on there now. So what we're going to do now... When we've done all those little finishing touches, we're going to um, um, rub out some of the colour, ready to colour the leaves. Okay, so we're going to need your, uh, going to use your rubber, your white rubber. White is the white is the is is the easiest one to use. I think one takes a lot longer. So, right. Do you want me White to wait? White rubber. Do you want me to wait? Yeah, yeah, we're all over it. Hard mm -hmm. side, though. Hard side of the mat, yeah? Hard side of the mat. It's still on the back. So we're going to take the colour out of the coloured parchment. And this is going to make a big difference to your embossing. So if I just show you, see this one here? That one there? Yes. Just look at that now, and I'm just going to take the colour out of it. On the back, yeah. On the back. So even this rubber will enhance your embossing if you're in a rush. White end. Right. right, so if you look at that one now, look how white that is. Wow, okay. Okay, it lifts it. Does the rubber need to be sharp, Linda, or not so? Yeah. Well, yeah. Not too sharp, but um, not too blunt either. So you, you've got to get <laughs> in those little curves. So are we going in on the bits that the where the white work is? Is that where uh, you're taking the colour? Yeah, where the white work is. I'm, I'm where doing, else? Yeah, not at the moment. Cool, look um, at the difference. Big difference. Doesn't it? Yeah. And I'm not taking the colour out of the rest of the rows. Because they're all going to be pink. But I am going to take a bit more out of the shadow embossing just to show you um, how you can use this to enhance your shadow embossing as well. But we're doing the turnovers first. We're going to do all the turnovers. Turnovers, that's a better word than flap. Yeah. <laughs> Apple turnovers. <laughs> <laughs> there, yeah, that looks good, Grace. So you know where you um, you embossed with your embossing tool. So we're just going to do the, exactly the same now. 
with your rubber. Remember we did the rocking back and forth. I'm only going to do half now to show you the difference. You can see I've done that half. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. So if you haven't got time to do your embossing, um, use your rubber as well. But it only works on coloured parchment. It wouldn't work if you did it on ordinary parchment. It's not going to make a bit of difference. So anywhere where we've done a bit of white work, we ought to be taking out the... Yeah, take out the colour. And on the leaves, obviously, the whole on leaf really, because it's not pink, is it? No, on the leaves and the sepals, you're taking out all the colour everywhere. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And you can take the colour out on the stems as well. So on the, on the on the turnovers, you're taking out all the colour. Cool, and on the rest of the rows, you're doing just the embossed areas. Look at that. Look yeah, at that. make a difference. It makes that, a massive difference, Linda. You, you could actually leave that as it is without colouring, couldn't you? It would be lovely. Love it. So Ready. especially if you're using the rainbow parchment that's really dark or you're using, like, dark parchment. Yeah. Definitely. I'm saying now you want it... So if you, if you look at that leaf, say, um, I only wanted to do half of it and it's say if, if 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 it was green and you only wanted to do half of it so you wanted to, to leave that because it was in shadow and just do that bit because mm. you think it's in the light so really you're using the the rubber as your shader along yeah. with your can you see the difference now so you've got yeah. half of it's very white and half of it's yeah. not so white Yep. So, so where yeah. you think you're, but you, I mean, you're going to rub all the colour out on the leaves anyway, so it doesn't apply um, for this particular purpose. So I'm going to rub all the colour out there because I want my leaves to be green. Yep. They're brilliant, okay. these rubbers. They are. Yeah. They're our biggest selling product, Linda. Yeah. Green. Yeah. <laughs> No, it looks smashing. Yeah, it doesn't it. I mean, so I am... the lily of the valley. We're taking it out of the lily of the valley too, are we? Yeah, you want those to be nice and white, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. And it makes so much sense to do it in this order. Like, do the white work, the embossing first, because it's so easy to find the the bit you want to rub out. Then. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. You wouldn't be able to see it otherwise, would you? No, no. My only, can I ask a staff question? Let me just show yes. you what I've done. And then you, you'll see. Right. My only, my only issue is. Yeah. Look, um, I'm not sure what I've done wrong with this bit. Let me just come in on the, hold on. Let me go to that camera and then go to this one. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This way up. No, right, so you if yeah, so, so I'm getting there, but yeah. what I'm not sure about is hang on, what what was I supposed to do in that bit there? That should be there should be a little bit of embossing there. See there it is, look. All oh, right, from the tip down. Just a little bit of embossing up there, yeah. And then the other bit that I missed, I missed that bit there. Yeah. And then I got I didn't know what to do in the center piece, to be honest, Linda. Yeah. That I just just a little bit of embossing on the tips. Yeah? Okay. You can see it there? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <gasps> Caramba! <laughs> it's close. <laughs> <laughs> she not to drink off the table. <laughs> so you need your wow. rubber quite sharp, don't you, for the stems? There we are. Nice. I can't tell you how much everybody at home is enjoying this, Linda. Oh, that's good. I'm I've glad. had texts and on Messenger, people love saying you. they love it. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, absolutely. Good. 
Much, much, much appreciated. And it doesn't matter if you rub out a, a little bit of when the lily of the valley are quite small, and they doesn't matter if you rub out a little bit around the surrounding areas. Nobody's going to notice. But they are, they will be much whiter now as well. And we're going to bring in a white pencil afterwards as well. So we're doing all the cheats today. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I like a bit of a cheat. I love the parchment, please, on to me. <laughs> Uh, you are the parchment, please. <laughs> there we go. How are we doing with the rubbing out? Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. Good, good. It's less stressful, this bit, isn't it? It is. The... Yeah, definitely what? less stressful. Nothing, I'm just looking at yours. Have I missed anything? No, it's lovely. Cool, your leaves are good, Lee. They're good. Look at your leaves, Grace. Doesn't it make a difference now? It's so much nicer. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That makes I such a difference. Yeah. I mean, once you've done that, you can go back in and emboss it. I don't think it needs any more embossing now. I think it just needs a little bit of colour. Yeah? Shall we try it? we we'll try the colouring. So what I used was pergolinas. Okay, now, yeah, I, they, there wasn't a pink in the bees, so I'm using an A pencil, and I like the a, the green A as well. So I've got A9 and A16, and I'm using them dry, so it's, it doesn't matter which ones you use. They, they, will, they will sort of blend together, and I've got yeah. B, B11, which is a red, so A9, A16. And be eleven. Nice. And to, take your white pencil out at the same time. I don't have those ones. You need. Oh, I've got another box here, Gracie. Say the numbers again, please, Linda. Um, let's have a look. A nine, a nine, a sixteen, B eleven, okay. and your white, which is B one. I got B one. And I've got uh, a, there's a a sixteen, mm -hmm. there's a eleven, Perfect. and then the red one you I want. I got the red one and I got the white one. We're all set. All righty. Thank you. Where's my white one gone? There it is. Wonderful. I couldn't think of a better way to spend a Friday <laughs> night yeah. than with my best friend, my daughter. <laughs> And a load of buddies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And well, uh, there's nothing on the telly worth watching. And no, the news I refuse to watch. I refuse, Nick. We're not going clubbing, are we? No, we're not going clubbing. No, no. We're not going out, out. No. Not out, out, no. This is about as out as I go, lately. <laughs> <laughs> Same here. Right, okay. So we're going to colour, okay? Now then, on yep. the back. On the back. Hard mat, hard mat, hard, hard mat. mat, hard mat. So pink pencil, uh, A9. So what you're going to do now is a, a very sharp pencil. Make sure they're nice and sharp, and you're going to flick in the dark areas into into your white bits. So and make sure that they're nice and close. The lines are nice and close, and you can have you can. Do some long strokes, some short strokes. They don't all have to be the same length. So the the, the coloured work is going to be flicked into the white work. So when you're doing this bit and the turn over there, you're going to turn your part around yeah, 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 and you're yeah, going yeah, to yeah, flick yeah. into the right. This is and I'll tell you what, when, you, when you're checking, Linda, yeah. if you hold it over the, the, pa the paper, Paper, yeah. You know, then you really see it come to life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice. So can you see what I'm doing better on the black? So yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll right around the edge. Yeah, better on the black for me, I think. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. There we are. And just 
And I mean, it's quite forgiving, isn't it, when you when you colour on the back. So I'm absolutely. So if you if your white starts at the tip of your petal, you put in the painting at the base of your petal, or the the base of the bit that you can see. And if your if your pencil is looking a bit grainy, if you if you look at the front and you think it's a bit grainy, you can actually use your rubber to blend it a little bit. But I, the pink I one or the white one? The white one actually, or, or the pink one, but but don't don't take it off, just Spread it out a bit. Use it to, to, to flick it up a, a bit and spread yeah. it out. If you rub it too hard, it's going to take it all off, isn't it? So, but I mean, nice way, yeah, I see. It disperses it, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, it just acts as a blender pencil, then, doesn't it? Nice. So I keep turning my parchment so that I can actually flick into the white parts. And, and mm, the good nice. thing about this is you don't have to be too precise, do you? Because mm. you've got the colour and the and the embossing, and it's all on the back, so it's very, very forgiving. And don't forget to do... Just because you emboss this petal on the front, you're still colouring it from the back. Yeah. Okay. There we are. What about the buds? Are they green? Well, this bit of the bed there is pink. But, but that bed hasn't opened, does it? It's just the set bed, as you can see. So I, I think that's probably green. So the good news is yeah. that the uh, the white rubber takes out the pink if you put it in the wrong place. Just <laughs> 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 telling, just saying. <laughs> So do your leaves as well in exactly the same way and your beds? In green. In green. <laughs> this is quite a dark green, isn't it? It is. And I, I, a big, um, I wanted a dark green because it's quite light on the front, isn't it? So Yeah. Right. And then when you oh, when you're right, lovely. Yeah. And when you're doing your leaves, you, it's from the because you've embossed from the outside edge in. Your pencil work is going to go from the the centre vein out. Yeah, and don't forget now some long strokes, some short strokes, and where you've got a gap, you need to go a little bit further with your pencil. And and you can do your um, your stems as well. The stems aren't aren't that important. Green, really. Just oh, green. Yeah. Doesn't that look lovely? Mm. Oh. Coming on? Good. No, I'm happy with this. Good. It's the sequence as well, Linda. It's knowing which that was why I'm so glad we're doing this, because it's like knowing what comes first, really. Yeah. You know, yeah. once you know the sequence, it makes things so much easier to do the white work and then and then the colouring. If you did the colouring, you'd You'd have a lot more trouble trying to locate the white work, wouldn't you? Yeah, yeah. It's it's diff it's totally different working on coloured parchment uh, than when you're working with with the ordinary parchment. You you've got to you've got to think it think differently. Yes. And you know it it helps as well when you're doing your coloured work and you're embossing that you you've got you've got. Um, a, ma a good pair of glasses and a good magnifier because it does help. It, it, it's important that you can see, even though you you know. I know I always say you should you should be able to see when you're doing needle tools and things like that. But you, it's it your embossing will improve if you if you've got a good view of what you're doing. Right. So I remember the first time you and I got together, and I was trying to do my. I was trying to do the pico cut and I could not get my head around it. And then yeah. you, you, and there were about ten people watching, and I was making a right old horlicks of it. 
<laughs> and then you, 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 I mean, Mrs. Diplomatic, right? You said, can you actually see what you are doing? I thought, well, clearly. And then, and then you realize that actually sounded pretty hardcore. And you said, no, you need stronger glasses. And I thought, you really are burying yourself here, Linda Williams. <laughs> can you actually see what you're doing oh, thanks linda clearly i can't <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right okay let me show you that there we are you can see it's coming on okay. not bad not bad linda yeah 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 okay hang up in a minute what I want to do now is to, to put some red in to my rose, just just to accentuate the areas where there are fold overs and just in the darkest bit. See where that, that little lip is? Just a bit of red under there. So if I turn it over, it's, it's hardly visible, but it is there. You can see it's a little bit darker there now. Yeah, mm. yeah. It's not glaringly obvious, but it's there. You can put as much so it's like putting a shadow in, really. If we were, if we were drawing now, yeah, adding it's just adding a shadow, right? Yeah, that's right. And then where they, where those little turnovers are that you, you, you hooked around, you know, or and the, yep. the center of the the bed is always darker, isn't it? Oh, look. What do you do? Just a little flick underneath, as if you were doing a drop mm. shadow. Is it good? Yeah? Yeah, I love it. And under these. And inside the inside the, the rose as well, isn't it, really? Yeah. The finishing touches again, isn't it? You know? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And if you go overcook it, you can always rub it out with the, pen, with, with the rubber, can't you? Mm -hmm. Course, you can, yeah. I mean, that's the thing with this part of the game you just put too much color down, take it out, put too much color down, lift yeah. it off again, yeah. And that's the magic thing about the B pencils, I suppose, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And you can always go back in and put a little bit more green if you want to, yeah, along the edge of the vein, or doesn't that make a difference? Look at that. The so the, yeah. the middle, the, the, the absolute, like in German, like the knospe, the really tight little, you know, yeah. the, the inside. You can you can get that going now yeah. with a really sharp red pencil, can't you? Yeah, definitely. See? Yeah. Oh, Barbara. Okay. Right, and I, I put a little bit of red on here as well. You know the, the ribbon bit that you can see that we it goes around the bottom of the stem. Yeah. I put a little bit of red in there to bring that out a little bit. There we are. Okay, and the white pencil then. Okay, now then the white pencil. Let's have a bit of good cheat, so we put... <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my, I've got another one here, I'm losing the nib of that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> what? Oh, you like oh, that one? Yeah. <laughs> I can just about get it into the shop now. Right. <laughs> so a little bit of white on your turnovers again, and that will whiten them up again. Don't drag yeah. any red in, though, if you can help it. How's it going, Gracie? I'm being very quiet. <laughs> Let's have a look from the front. It's then. Good, all right. You're so good at art. Part, you know, though. you've always been good at art. It's hard when Barbara grows your mum, though. No, come on. <laughs> you want Linda Williams as your bestie? <laughs> <laughs> so, so you can now you can enhance your embossing with your. With your Come back for me a real quick moment, Linda. The red yeah. part, can you show me that again? Because if I'm sure I'm not the only one. Yeah, okay. Where are you putting the reds? So I'm putting the reds, just a few little flicks there, where mm -hmm. where um, 
where the shadow would be, you know, where that turnover is, or and underneath that turnover there. Underneath, and then, I gotcha. There. And then in you know, the center of the bed would always be very red, and, and these these darker areas here. And in mm, the okay. corners, yeah. Okay. okay. And there, this is very important. This bit here, that would be very dark. Mm -hmm. That the bit that's concave, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so use your white pencil as well to enhance your embossing. So let's put a little bit of white pencil on the tip of that one, just to whiten the tip. And I'll turn it over now for you to see. So I've put a bit of white pencil there. On the tip and you can see how that has whitened it without oh, really, yeah look at you yeah without really giving it a good hammer in with the embossing tool because it, it parchment yeah. is a bit tired now at this time of night because we've given it a bit of a good going over and i, I you can always put a little bit <laughs> on there too. setting us up for a fail here isn't she <laughs> <laughs> It's all finishing touches, isn't it? Yeah. And whiten those, whiten those lily of the valley as well. Nice, nice and white. With the white pencil? The white pencil, yeah. If they're not white enough. If, if you think they're white enough, leave them alone. <laughs> but you can't, you can't be embossing them anymore now because we've given them a, a couple Oh, can't of, you? Not, not today. If you like oh, it I see. tomorrow morning, you could, but not today. But the white pencil's got nothing to do with the fact that you can't do any more. No, no, today. You no, no, you can still emboss over the top of it, yeah. But if you're going to emboss it tomorrow, I'd say don't put the white pencil on. Just, just give it another emboss and see if you can manage without the white pencil. Yeah. It's, it's how it looks on the front, isn't it? If you've got the desired effect on the front... It doesn't look. It doesn't matter how how you achieve that. No, it, that's really, right. You know, for goodness' sake, you know. Nope. No. There we are. All kind of in. Okay. How are we doing? All right. Brilliant. I'm loving it, Linda. Good, good. How's yours looking? Should we show what we've done? Come on, let's have a look. Brace yourself, Grace. Oh, I'm not ready. Right, you ready? Yeah. I'm not ready. I'm not completely done yet, but I'll give, we're going to give it a go, aren't we, Lynn? Uh, Grace, you ready? Sure. Right, come on. <laughs> Notice I'm not getting a choice. Turn it round. Right, oh, up, 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 up. That's brilliant. Oh, it's lovely. Well done. <laughs> Get Look, yours in I'm there. Turn off as man. <laughs> <laughs> now, come on, give us this yours it's in there. Not, no, yours oh. is better. Actually. Yours up. I'll in give that, over. Yours. Right, that's Grace's. Look. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's not bad, is it? It's not bad for a oh, first just, time. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. a first oh. time. Sweaty, though. <laughs> Me, not the artwork. I've got to work on the green a bit. I haven't done the green really. Uh, oh, well done. I, I'm pleased with this bit. Yeah, that's a lovely technique to emboss on the front, isn't it? I mean, and you can, yeah. you can see the difference. Can't Doesn't you? that make a difference? So oh, look, look at the it? difference just by doing that on that, and then yeah. putting a bit of red in that area there on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't that lovely? And if you squint, it looks really nice. Look. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you yeah. don't. Have Put Grace on the team. I am on the team, Jane. <laughs> Get me back on the chat system where I belong. <laughs> cool. There we are. Okay. Well done. There we are. So Thank then, you, Linda. That's it then, isn't it? All you've got to do then is layer it up. So you've got your you've got your piece of parchment on your yes. piece of um, paper, your piece of rainbow paper, and then you've got put it on your piece of card that you all, should have already cut out. Your is it six by six, and then you've yeah. got your piece of 
rainbow parchment, um, rainbow paper, and then onto your card blank. Doesn't okay. it make a difference when you put it on white as well? Yeah. Yes, doesn't it? Isn't that lovely? Yeah, I mean, then it comes to life, doesn't yeah. it? And I think it's quite nice to put the green on the bottom where the pink is and the pink on the top where the green is. And I would put, put my brads in. I'm sure I haven't finished it yet, but I'm sure most people haven't finished it. I'd put the brads in that bit. Yeah. And open the brads out on the back of the first square. I'd stick that yes. on my tape runner. And yep. then I'd stick this on with my tape runner. There we are. So, Linda, where did you get the other bit of the bit you got your hand on? Is that paper? This one is paper. Yeah. That's paper in the background. So, that's just for layering up. It's cheaper, yeah. isn't it, to do it that yeah. way? Yeah, it's, it's on the list, and I've given the dimensions of it. Yeah. Marvellous. That's lovely for layering up. Yeah. That's that's a great – so, it not only – it not only intensifies the colour of the parchment, but it also acts as a really good layer of wrapper. Oh, yeah, yeah. Excellent. That's lovely. That doesn't look lovely, Linda. I keep yeah. looking at yours thinking, <laughs> you know, I've done really well, and then I realise it's yours and not mine. <laughs> <laughs> yours is lovely. You've done a, you've, you've both done a great job. You well, might, you really, really have. I'm, I'm not. That's not bullshit. I'm not bullshit. <laughs> oh, it wasn't me. <laughs> and if I did to make it, it, it keep going, then I probably would have not done the pencil work yet, and I would have carried on just teasing out the artwork a bit more, wouldn't yeah. I? Yeah, yeah. And I mean, you, you've done. We've done this in three hours. It's, it's a bit quick for a card of like yes. this. You know, I mean, so you you got to you got to give yourself a bit more time, haven't you? So no, you're absolutely no. I understand. Yeah. I understand. Okay, Linda, that was fantastic. Really, really good. Oh, good, gin and tonic. Thank you so much. We nailed it. <sighs> <laughs> yes. Well done, Linda. Congratulations. Thank you, Linda. Do you Claire. know the thing is, Lynn? I've watched you do that before, and it's such a difference between watching you do it and then doing it. There's a vast difference. Huge. You, you remember know, the, if you actually do it. Oh, yourself. you really remember it. If you, if you, you know, it makes such a difference if you, if you're actually crafting along. I made one mistake, and I know the mistake, and I'll never make it again. You know, it's like, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. But if yeah. you if you don't if you don't try it, you'll never learn. No. And so, no. so that's really marvelous. I'm much much appreciated, Linda. That's and I've got a couple of little things. Yeah. So again, I want on behalf of everybody that's been doing this with us, thank you so so much. Okay. You know. That's a pleasure. Brilliant. Next sat next Friday, I'm the driver, and you can heckle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It's a long time since I did any stamping. Well, that's what we're going to do next Friday. Yeah. So, so that's this, so it's flipping then, isn't it? And we're going to do. I've got a couple of little bits just to. Are you finished, Linda? Is that all you? That's no, all you, you're done, no, there, you? Yeah, yeah. Marvelous. If you, if you've been crafting along with us, don't forget to send them to me at. Grace at claritystamp.com and I will put them all in a blog and there might be prizes. I don't know. Yeah, that. we'll think of something smashing. Um, and what I wanted to do is next Friday at seven o'clock, of course, we're using the stamps. So they're exactly the same as the um as as the groovy plates, but they're the stamps. Hundreds of you have bought the stamp sets. So that's what we and I made a little list of what you're going to need. And I shall, um, we shall type this all up and get it ready for you. But really, the only, you're going to need the pergoliners, the stamps, stencil card. I'll type it all up. The only stamp that's in addition, you know these, um, the lino cut stamps. There are three different background ones. And I'm just going to use one of those. I thought it would be a really good opportunity to, to use these. So if you haven't got one of those, get a set of those. Um, I've used the grungy one. 
the real grungy, arty one of the three. And so what I'll do is I'll get Paul to write the list out and we'll put it on the website so that you can craft along with that. Linda, I'll send you a box of goodies with everything in it. You don't have to even give it a second thought. Okay. And then, yeah, don't worry about that. Um, I've got and then the other stamp. thing. I've got, got you the, the, the rose stamp, not the, um, not the grungy one. I haven't got that one. All right, we'll send you that one as well then. Yeah. And um, and so the only thing I was going to, just a little bit of housekeeping now is next Tuesday, which is the 14th of September, summer school resumes. Ooh. Is that right, Linda? It does, yeah. yeah. Back to school. So yeah. Linda's going to be back in the building with you. And um, and she'll start again at 10 o'clock with Paul, lovely Paul Church, who's been helping us all evening. Thank you so much, Paul, for your support, as always. Um, now, so summer school starts again. And what Linda and Paul, Paul's the student on this one. Which book have you been going through, Linda? Which one is book it? One. Book one. Makes sense. That it? one. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start at the very beginning. <laughs> the very good. Doing the five in a circle next. Five so in you're a... doing the five in a circle on Tuesday? On Tuesday, yeah. Yeah. Marvellous. Five needle la the last time, the last one that we did. So um, yeah. it's five in a circle. We, we're we going, we, we're doing the, the needle tools as progress as they are in the book. It's easier than people can see what comes next so, so you did sort of four weeks did it was it four weeks or five weeks we did i think we did five actually four five i think yeah because we got to the so, five so those five right so those five needles that are in the books then up to yeah. number five yeah you've you've, you've yeah. gone through them and yeah. that's all been recorded so people can go onto the clarity stamp youtube channel and catch up with us as well yeah so they haven't missed anything have they yeah. No, no, no. That's marvellous. So even if you, you're thinking, oh, I wish I'd done that, you can still join in on. They wouldn't have missed the train. If they start, if, if anybody starts on Tuesday, it's fine, isn't it? Well, yeah, of course, they can go back and look. And, I mean, whichever needle tool you're going to use, it's the same technique. It's just a different configuration of needles. And I will Brilliant. always go through and tell you how to use the needle tool. That, that we're using, but it's the same, whichever needle tool you, you used, it's the same. So, cool. and, and of course you've got Glynis as well, is doing um, a project every Sunday to follow mm -hmm. on from that using that particular needle tool, isn't she? Yeah, so on you the get Clarity practice. Matters blog. That's yeah. your Clarity, blog, isn't it? Clarity Matters dot claritymattersblog.com and every Sunday during summer school, the book one, Glynis did a project that kind of lined oh, up with clever, it. Oh, clever, clever. So there's something written as well if you work there that way yeah so so that starts on tuesday again and then on thursday i've got the shack with my shackers shack shack 10 o'clock then on friday next week we've got our moment of clarity at three o'clock where we're we're going to be taking a closer look at the good folk you know the little yes. be good do good feel good the gnomes the little gnomes so we'll be doing those on um maybe paul can get us the link up for that that'll be excellent and then other than that, that's it then. And then on Friday night at 7 o'clock, PJs. Yeah. Pyjama party again. Yeah, PJs I've got to get, another, I've to get another set. I can't wear the same set twice. No, no. <laughs> I'll send you these and you send me those. See if anyone yeah, right. notices. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that, guys. Okay. Okay, we won't do that. No, I won't do that. Well, <laughs> thank you thank you grace for joining in thanks for having me thank you for teaching us brilliantly linda that's a pleasure Good teacher. Oh, Great thank teacher. You. thank you to everybody who joined us and most of all thank you to linda okay no problem thank you love you loads love you bye, -bye now bye 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 bye, -bye dear <laughs>